Today on The Daily Dose, the history of Valentine's Day. Throughout much of human history, February has long been celebrated as a month of romance and fertility, stemming from a blurred mix of pagan and Christian traditions. For instance, the Catholic Church recognizes three different saints named Valentine or Valentinus, all of whom were martyred. One legend contends that Valentine was a priest who served during the third century in Rome. When Emperor Claudius II decided that single men made better soldiers than those with wives and families, he outlawed marriage for young men. Valentine, realizing the injustice of the decree, defied Claudius and continued to perform marriages for young lovers in secret. When Valentine's actions were discovered, Claudius ordered him put to death. While some believe that Valentine's Day is celebrated in the middle of February to commemorate the anniversary of Valentine's death or burial, which probably occurred around AD 270, others claim that the Christian Church may have decided to place Valentine's Day in the middle of February in an effort to Christianize the pagan celebration of Lupercalia. Celebrated at the Ides of February or February 15th, Lupercalia was a fertility festival dedicated to Faunus, the Roman god of agriculture, as well as the Roman founders Romulus and Remus. During the Middle Ages, it was commonly believed in France and England that February 14th was the beginning of the bird mating season, which added to the idea that the middle of February should be a celebration of human romance as well. Americans began exchanging handmade valentines in the early 1700s, while in the 1840s, Esther A. Howland began selling the first mass-produced valentines cards in America. Howland, known as the mother of valentine, made elaborate creations with real lace, ribbons, and colorful pictures known as scrap. In 2019, Americans spent on average $162 each to lavish gifts upon their loved ones. Today, according to the Greeting Card Association, an estimated 145 million Valentine's Day cards are sent each and every year, making Valentine's Day the second largest card-giving holiday of the year. And there you have it, the history of Valentine's Day. Today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.